The Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church is currently under attack by its own federal government. Orthodox Christians in various parts of Ethiopia have been subjected to persecution, displacement, and killings by extremist groups over the past five years. The Ethiopian government has failed to bring the perpetrators of these crimes to justice and has shown indifference to the plight of thousands of Christians, particularly in the Oromia region. The Ethiopian government's aggression against the Orthodox Church has escalated to the point where tear gas was fired into the church compound at St. George Orthodox Church in Addis Ababa on March 3rd, 2023. Where thousands of Orthodox Christians had gathered to celebrate the Holy Saints Day. The celebration was abruptly ended due to its violent act and many Orthodox Christians, including women, children, and the elderly were injured and one person tragically lost their life due to the tear gas injuries. The government's aggression against the church has reached a level that is reminiscent of fascist Italy. Orthodox Christians were attacked with tear gas by security forces at St. George Church. Such behavior was prevalent in fascist Italy. Over the past four weeks, the government has shown not only utter disregard of the church, but also its intention to destroy Orthodox Christianity. On February 4th, 2023, 38 Orthodox Christians were killed. And hundreds were critically injured when government forces opened fire in St. Michael's Church compound in Shashamani, a city in the Oromia region. Since then, there have been frequent mass and arbitrary detentions, particularly targeting prominent church leaders and servants in different regions of the country, as well as extensive reports of physical and emotional abuse of those illegally detained by government security forces. The Holy Synod must take a firm stand against the blatant and premeditated act of violence by the government security forces against the church. The church is facing an existential threat from this regime. This ethnic and faith-based atrocities are not spontaneous and the role of the political system, including ethnic federalism, the education system, and public discourse by those in positions of authority and power must be investigated as potential and purposeful factors in fueling the public strife that is manifesting in genocidal violence today. It is time to stop the persecution of the church and the violence against Orthodox Christians.